If you're talking about tech events in the country, the Indian Mobile Congress or IMC is one of the largest that you can ever attend. My name is Abdullah. You're watching Yandero Technology, and we just spent an entire day in the IMC venue to find five new tech products that you might find implemented in your daily life in the future. We kicked things off at the very crowded Qualcomm booth. Now, Qualcomm is in its AI era and had a bunch of devices, including its Snapdragon X laptops on display. But what caught our eye was this neat little payment interface that uses your face or your palm to make digital payments. Now, this isn't a new technology and does have its security and privacy implications. The demo unit at the Qualcomm booth also did not seem to work when we were trying it out, so I'd say there's a fair bit of work that needs to be done before this arrives in the market. That said, it still is a cool concept. Other interesting devices in the Qualcomm booth included digital car dashboards and even a smart mobility car concept that uses AI to detect dangerous or irresponsible driving. Another interesting thing here at the Airtel booth at IMC is this satellite-based tolling system. Now, this works with this little device integrated into your car and what it does is that it tracks for however long you're driving on a particular highway. Once you get off, you get charged per the number of kilometers you've driven. Currently, we don't have a date on when this will actually be implemented, but I've been told that the POC is under experimentation, so we can see that coming up real soon. Airtel's competition, Geo, also has a few things to bring to IMC. The first one being GeoBrain. Now, uh, this isn't exactly a neural engine or a large language model. This is an underlying framework that enables small or large scale models as you can and it is powering a bunch of other geo services including their glasses so geo has for the first time ever a pair of smart glasses that has brought that you can use with a voice assistant that they developed in-house as well as a gaming solution for vr headsets these are all under development models at the moment and there isn't really a set launch date that we were told at this event but it does seem exciting and it's not simply looking like a chat gpt glow that said, it remains to be seen how Geo implements this technology in consumer products. There were a lot of promises here today and all the demos seem to work. So that's good news, but we'll have to wait and see for commercialization of this technology to see how well this functions. My mic decided to glitch out on the show floor here, but what I'm trying to show you is a deepfake detection software called Vizmantis, made by an Indian startup, Croup AI, in collaboration with Intel. This software is exclusive to Intel's new Core Ultra chips on both the Meteor and the Lunar Lake versions. It uses the NPU included on these new chips to run on-device detection and can tell whether a video or photo is real or AI generated. Finally, we found a VR crime scene training simulator coming from Gyan Innovation Labs from the Indian Institute of Information Technology, Kotam, tucked away in the corner of the show floor. Using just a mobile app, this tech lets crime scene investigators preserve crime scenes in their original state in just a few hours. A physical device is also being created, however, at the convention, we only saw the app where it took them 5 hours to recreate the scene. This means that an investigator can return to the original crime scene years after the investigation first started and still experience it as if they were walking in for the first time. The recreation model was developed in collaboration with the Kerala Police Cyberdome. So this was us at IMC 2024. If you like this video, consider subscribing, give us a thumbs up, press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below which one of these tech products did you like the most. If you'd like to know more about tech in general, visit our website candid.technology, follow us on social media, follow me on Instagram or Twitter and we'll see you in the next video.